My next guest, Patrick Neville, is a Colorado State representative, survivor of the 1999 Columbine High School shooting. He's joining me here today. Patrick, good to have you. Thanks for having me. Well, there are a lot of questions for you. Now, you've, you've, sadly, you've been in the middle of a school shooting. You know what, what that kind of anxiety and that, that fear, I suppose, is like. And yet, with all that on the table, you still don't support these ideas that there should be guns banned and confiscation and everything else. Tell us a little bit about that day in Columbine, whatever you'd like, and then tell us how you remain a person who thinks that firearms are still okay for the American public. Yeah, so Columbine definitely had a huge impact in my life. Uh, it was I was a 15-year-old kid, probably making every wrong decision a 15-year-old could make, I was probably making, and doing a lot of dumb things. And I had a good friend growing up. Um, I was on a soccer team with him. His dad coached the soccer team. We were on the same baseball team. My dad was the head coach. His dad was the assistant coach. And we started drifting apart in high school because he was doing all the right things while I was making all the dumb decisions. And he lost his life, and that had a huge impact on me and made me realize it was time to wake up and start being a better person because I'll never forget the look in his father's eyes when his father was frantically searching for him after we all gathered in my elementary school after the shooting and the look of desperation in the father's eyes. And So I didn't have any strong opinions immediately after the shooting, being a 15-year-old kid, and I think the media likes to jump in and get people to have these strong opinions as victims right away. But my, my opinions grew as I started going to college. And I had my concealed carry permit when I was 21 in college. And I, was, I just thought it was ridiculous that out of all the places I could, couldn't carry, in the classroom was one of them. And that's where, if anything, I felt the most vulnerable in a classroom. And so we, we see this narrative of all victims, like, believe in gun control and that's absolutely not true at all i've met many victims of uh, mass shootings and who share my views that we need to end gun-free zones that we actually need to empower individuals to stop these horrible shootings 